Hello, Matthew Williams here with a quick video to explain how to create 3D side-by-side -side footage, 3D SBS footage in Adobe Premiere. Um, specifically, I am converting AVC HD 3D footage. It's the AVC HD 3D um, which I get on my camera, which is a Panasonic HCX. 900M but also would work with the X920 and X929 um, any of the Panasonic cameras that record in AVC HD 3D which is an interlace format so it records um, 50 frames per second but you get one eye per eye uh, one field per eye so in effect um, you're moving forward in time with the interlace whereas some systems record uh, the instant of the time frame um, per SBS and they don't advance forward. This, I believe, advances forward, if that means anything to some people. But anyway, don't worry about it too much because I'm just going to show you how to do it. So what we do is we drag in our footage from our folder into Premiere. We put it in our media bin. I'm going to rename it so I know what, what it is. So we say that's 3D. Okay, so first thing we have to do, right click and go to modify, interpret the footage and conform to lower field first. I know that the file actually reports that it's an upper field first um, format, but for some reason I found this works better. So I conform it to lower field first. Okay, then we drag it onto the timeline, as you can see I'm putting it here, and then we drag it on again, and we put it above itself. Now it's worth going in very close just to make absolutely certain that they copied frame exact, and that is frame exact. So we can zoom back out. Now the important thing to note is that when you try to get SBS footage like this with left eye, right eye, so this is the left eye, that's the right eye. Okay, we have to first tell the top one to be field reverse dominance on. Okay, and the bottom one we leave as field reverse dominance unticked. Okay, so with this piece of footage up here, we have to open the motion box, open the scale box, untick uniform scale which allows us to change the width separate to the height. Type in for the top piece of footage 50 and come on to it so you can see what it's done. It's made it 50% smaller. Okay now we need to drag it to the left. Now we can do this visually by dragging it until it gets to the edge. Okay now if I want to um, look at the ones I did earlier I can click on them and they will tell me that it was 478. So let's check what we were, we were 483, so we're, we're a bit off. So let's type 478 and it moves it just a bit further over. Okay, now the bottom footage, we need to open up motion, scale, untick uniform scale, make the scale width 50% and drag the drag it to the right hand side. Now if I want to save myself time, come over to the left, have a look at the figure I've already used earlier on, which is 1439. So that's 1439. We type in there, hit enter, and it takes it across for us. Now, I like to have just a very small gap between the two frames. So there's that you can see a very small pixelation, um, one pixel, two pixels wide there. I find it brings out the 3D a little bit better. Um, I could be getting this wrong, um, there may be a better way to do it, but that's a good starter for people who've never had a go at doing this before. And of course if I turn the transmit on now, of course Premiere transmits to my television and I can view the footage immediately with no hassle just by scrubbing the timeline here and making sure my television is turned into 3D and the TV monitor um, will output correctly in 3D as long as it's got this side-by-side -side footage present, which it has. Now the great thing about this is you can apply noise cleaning um, and the noise cleaning can um, clean both sides. 
and uh, you can do other things like that which affect the whole frame so it's quite a nice little technique that you can use here with all your premier um, premier sort of uh, bits and pieces the only thing you'd have trouble with would be titles because you'd have to duplicate the title on the left and on the right so um, hopefully that'll give you a little bit to think about if you've never tried using premiere for 3d editing before um, so let me know if you know a better method and uh, thanks for watching